so in this session we are going to see how you can display a knob widget or a knob object using processing id so here as a first statement you are importing control p5 package and its libraries so by default this package will not be available in processing id so before running this program you need to add this library into processing id how to add the a library into processing id i have already explained in that in one video i'll be giving the link of that video in here right so once you have, once you have added the library then you can run the program or whenever you are going to run the program you need not add the library once it is added you can see that in sketch under import library the added library will be shown here so i have added control p5 so once it is added it will be there in ide you can go on running the program how many hour times you need then you are creating an object for control p5 similarly you are creating a variable f of p font then you are creating a window of size 200 bar 200 then you are smoothening the edges then you are creating a font of type Arial and size 16. Here you are initializing the control p5 object by using a constructor known as control p5. Then this statement is use, used for adding a knob in processing id. So how will you add cp5 means control p5 object dot add knob function. Then this is the name of the function, name of the knob. Then the next parameter will be the minimum value that is to be used in the knob. This is a maximum value that is to be used in the knob. Then next one, these two are the x and y. Uh, then uh, next one is a default value. So this is a minimum value of the knob. This is a maximum value of the knob. This is a default value of the knob. That means when you are running the program, so we will run the program and see. So when you are running this, so this is known as the knob this is a maximum value 0 this is a maximum value 100 and default value means when you are running the program what initial value should be shown here so so it is 10 so that is this 10 so minimum value maximum value default value then this is the x and co x and y coordinate in the window where you need to display x and y coordinate means a, almost a center x y so center point of the knob is defined here then the last one will be the diameter that is the diameter of the knob what diameter you need for the knob so you can write like this in a single function or you have seen in the previous program say in the previous program if i am taking this previous program here i have written it as separate function say cp5 dot add function set to pos add button set to position set to size set to font so here you are giving the parameter separately right instead of giving the parameter separately in the current program i am giving it in the same function itself you can use either in this method by using a single function or you can use the other method so instead of add button you can give add knob then set to position set to size set to font all those things will be the same so either you can use this method of representing an object or a widget or you can use a single function for adding an object so advantage of this is that all the parameters can be written in the single function itself but you need to verify that the value whatever you are writing is written in the actual position because if you are writing this 10 here what does it mean x axis will be changed to 10 but in the previous program you are using it as using separate functions so there may not be any chances for making mistake so here for time being i am using a single function then in the draw function so this add knob add button etc i told it should be in the setup function then in the draw function you are um, uh, creating a background of uh, say white color 255 means it is white 255 means it is white you can see it is white here it is written wrongly you can change it as white so zero means white uh, 255 means white zero means black zero black 255 white then text to font you are defining the text to font as f and 16 as size then you are filling a black color so whatever you are representing after this will be filled with this black color 
so then you are writing a text so here i am writing a text knob say 85 comma 20 so what does it mean you are you are displaying a text known as knob in uh, x axis 85 this axis 85 y axis 20 so that is represented by this then you want to display the the knob is already displayed by using this add function add a knob function then below the knob you need to display the value that is that you are getting from the knob so wherever you are clicking in the knob you can see the value is changing this value you should display it here also integer value so how will i write text of how will i get this value so for that you should use a function known as get controller so get controller function returns the instance of the controller sending the control event so here the controller is the knob so your knob is a controller right so knob is a controller which is sending the event right so here by using the get controller what does it mean you are sending you are uh, uh, getting the value of the controller uh, using this get controller function right returns the instance of the controller right so here my controller is the knob right knob is my controller i will return an instance of the controller right so here cp5 dot get controller which controller you are going to get the instance you can give it in double quotes so right so by default if you are adding a knob the controller name will be uh, knob one since you have specified here you are adding a knob and you are specifying the name here uh, so by using get controller function you will get an instance of this controller that is controller knob one then dot get value means so controller which controller knob one controller dot get value means you will be getting the value of this instance of the controller known as knob one you will get the value then that value should be displayed in 90 uh, 190 so this much position this uh, this much uh, command is used for getting the text same text function you are using but here i am giving the text directly but he in this function this much function for this much command is used for getting the value of knob controller and the whole value you are converting it into int so int of cp5 dot get controller knob dot get value get controller knob dot get value means you will be getting the value returned by this knob one controller and you need to for time being i am converting it into integer so i am using integer bracket this one so integer bracket if you are writing something it is known as type casting because by default this gate uh, get value the value you are getting from knob one will be floating value you can see here 61.85 that value you are going to convert it into integer and display it here so for that you are typecasting this value into int that is int bracket whatever value you are having then after the text you need to specify x and y axis coordinates that is why i am giving here so this much text is used for generating or getting the value of this controller known as knob one so get controller is used for returning an instance to this controller right that is why you are displaying here then one more function you are using here this is known as a event when you are uh, using the i think keyboard i have used an event known as key press the event similarly when you are using button uh, display value program you have used void on and void off function that is also known as an event here in the control p5 library they have designed a uh, something known as control event so control event is nothing but it is used to, to send a value to the control listener right it is used for sending a value to something known as control listener so control listener will be always listening for an event right what value it will be sending the value of the controller so whenever the value of a controller is changing in the, in our case my controller is knob one so whenever the knob one controller value is changing right control listener should get that value that will be got by uh, that will be sent to the control listener by using the control event function right so control event function will be executed when there is a change in the control value generated by the controller this controller 
right when you are using key pressed event whenever you are pressing a key in the keyboard that key pressed event will be executed similarly here whenever you are generating an event using a controller here my controller is no one so whenever there is a change in the value of no one this function control event function will execute right and in uh, uh, what are the parameters for the control event function only one parameter is there that is known as the, the event this is a variable i am using for the control event right right so this is a function and only one parameter is there what type of control event you are generating right so the event means whenever uh, a control a controller is generating an event that event will be the instance of that event will be given to this uh, function so in my case the event means it is the event generated by knob one right if you are having say three knobs and i am representing it as knob one knob two knob three whenever i am clicking on a particular knob that say if i am pressing on knob one then in this case the event will be knob one after some time when i am pressing on knob two the event will be knob two so whatever event it is generated whatever event i am creating or i am generating that event will be passed on to this function so if i am having a button and a knob and if i am pressing on the button the event will be nothing but the button similarly if i am pressing on the knob the event will be nothing but the knob so whatever event you are generating the event will be getting automatically the value of that or the name of that event generated right then the next function is the event dot is controller so here you are checking whether the event whatever you have created is a type is uh, the controller specified in the control p file library or not because in the control p file library you have uh, they have added some uh, controllers known as knob text box uh, number box then uh, scroll bar etc so whatever events or whatever controllers they have specified in the control p file library only that if any one of the controllers specified in the library is generating an event then only this function should execute so for checking whether the event generated is from the control event which is or the, from the controller added in this control p file library for checking that you are using this the event dot is controller that means it is checking whether the event generated is from the controller which is already defined in control p5 in control p5 there are knob scroll bar number uh, number box text box etc defined so if those controllers are generating an event then only it should go inside this function right so this is used for checking whether the event is generated by the controller defined in control p5 if it is that then what it should do it should print control event from text plus what is the use of this plus this is used for concatenation here you can see that control event from something then so how will you add this text and this by using the plus so this plus is used for concatenation of two string values or two values so this is a string here you will be getting another value if you want to concatenate these two strings you are using plus so here control event from what control what controller has gen has generated this event that you should display how will you get that the event dot get controller dot get name so previously when i am using get controller i need to get the value from a particular controller that is why i am using knob one that is the name of the controller inside parenthesis so i will be getting the value of this controller but here i am not using that because whichever controller has generated an event now that controller's name i should get right i don't know which controller has generated now here there is no problem only one uh, knob is there but if you are having say 10 knobs i don't know which knob has generated an event that knob's name should be printed so how will i get that the event dot get control event means this one whatever into event has generated so the event dot get controller that means it will be getting an instance of the controller dot get name so whatever controller has generated an event the name of that controller will be returned so control event from colon 
will be concatenated with the name of the event which you have generated name of the controller which have generated an event now here you will be getting the name as knob one because only one knob is there if you are having 10 knobs based on whichever knob you are creating that value will be shown here then you are giving print ln print ln means you will print this then one new line will be added print ln value concatenated with the value so how will i get the value i have shown here uh, how will i get the value the event here i have shown right same thing the event dot get controller dot get value right here what i am doing i am getting the value from the knob one directly but here i cannot do like that whichever event it has been generated that events value should get similarly here what you are doing whichever event that has whichever controller has generated an event the name of the controller you will be getting like this here whichever controller has generated an event the value of that controller will be getting here so you are concatenating value uh, and the integer value of the value because the value will be in float you are converting it into integer by using integer type casting and that value will be displayed so this function will be executed whenever a controller like our knob one is generating an event or a value in the controller is changing right because when i am pressing this the value of the controller is changing so whenever the value of the controller is changing this function will execute and you can see the value is changing here in the console right here i am using print and print ln. so these two are used for printing something in the console print ln means it will print this then new line will be character added so this complete message will be in one line then a new line will be added so control event you should keep in mind control event function will be executed whenever there is a change in the controller like this right thank you